I'm all by myself here right now. So it's okay if I take off my mask just for a minute because it's story time. I'm Danika and I'm really grateful to be here on Treaty 6 territory. It's a place where people have gathered to listen and tell stories since time immemorial. It's the home of many nations and the homeland of the Métis. And so I'm always really happy to listen and tell stories here. We're gonna start our story time, like we always do, with our hello song. I think you remember the signs. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Thank you. I hope you sang along. So today, I thought we'd play with words. I love words. I love to write poetry and stories. I like to play with letters. I like to write my name backwards and forwards and even play some word games. Your grown-ups might be doing that too. I have a word on the board behind me, a very short word. Actually, we can start with one of the shortest words there is. Ah. We use ah in lots of sentences. I would like a cat. Now, if we add other letters, then we can make even longer words. If we put a T beside our A, we have at. A. So, a truck. If we say at, we can be at the library. Now, this is where it gets fun because lots of words rhyme with at. Lots of words are made up of these letters and you just add one more. If I add this letter, a B, the B makes a B sound. B -b -b -b. And if we put that in front of at, B at bat. Okay, let's try another. Next, I have a C. K, 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 at cat. There's an R. R, 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 R. R. Rat. another. Mmm. I love the letter M because it's in the word mum. It's twice in mum. It goes mmm. It also reminds me of all the delicious things I love. Mmm. Mat. Mat. And I have one more. I love S's too because they look a little bit like a snake. They're a little bit windy and they talk like a snake. They make a sound. S, s. So we have s, at, sat. So those are my words today. We had cat, bat, rat, pat, mat, sat, and at. All sorts of rhyming words. And you might want to take those words and make them into a poem. I'm going to tell a story, but I'm going to go into the other room for that in just a second. I'll be right back. Today's stories are really, really short. They're nursery rhymes. I'm going to start with Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Rhyming stories are really fun, but often they're really short. Sometimes when we hear a story, we know someone has taken it and given it a little twist. We have this book at the library called After the Fall by Dan 
Santat. And it is a really interesting way of looking at the Humpty Dumpty story. So you might want to read this one. I have a couple of other books that are rhyming books. This one is Fat Cat on a Mat. And we talked about some of those words when we were playing with the magnets. I like alphabet books too. This one is about Canadian animals and it's called Moose, Goose, Animals on the Loose. And it's by Geraldo Valerio. Canadian animals. I love it. I forgot to say that Fat Cat on a Mat was written by Russell Punter and Stephen Cartwright. So here's another couple of teeny tiny little stories. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, dragging their tails behind them. See another super, super short story, but you could think about what color the sheep were, how soft it would be to touch their fleece. Maybe you could bring in more emotion, how sad little Bo Peep was, and how happy she was when she found her sheep at the end. Okay, here's one more. Hickory, dickory, dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory, dickory, dock. So that's even shorter, but if you were thinking about it, you could think about the sound effects of the clock striking. Bong, bong, bong. You could think about the sound effects of the mouse running up and down the clock. Skitter, 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 skitter. You could think about how scary it is to hear a loud noise and all sorts of things, what the mouse looked like. Maybe the mouse was hungry and had to find a snack. Stories are wonderful because you can add your own things from your memory and your imagination. One of the most fun ways to use rhyming words is in songs. You might know a version of this one and you might be able to come up with some rhymes on your own. berries grow back to my home I did not go for if I do my mother will say did you ever see a bear combing its hair down by the river down by the river Saskatoon berries grow back to my home. I did not go, for if I do, my mother will say, Did you ever see a moose drinking some juice down by the river? Down by the river where Saskatoon berries grow back to my home I did not go for if I do my mother will say did you ever see a cat wearing a hat down by the river rhymes that you can sing with that song? I changed the words a little bit and so it doesn't rhyme quite as well but I wanted it to feel a little bit more like our home here in Treaty 6 territory. Thanks for watching today. We'll just end with our goodbye song. Goodbye friends. Goodbye friends. Goodbye friends, it's time to say goodbye.
Thanks for watching. See you again soon.